So I'm going to ask John some questions about his experience in the class, and he can tell you what he got out of it, what he liked about it, what he didn't, and anything else that comes up. So here we go. So the first question I would like to ask you, John, is what originally inspired you to want to take this course? Uh, well, you, <laughs> I, you've been a, you've been my teacher for a long time, and um, so I it was I, it was a known commodity. I know you, you know you know what you're doing as far as being a teacher goes. I mean, you're you're one of the best teachers I've ever had, and I've had teachers coast to coast. Um, without sounding too much like a commercial, but you know, you, you, you've been doing this a long time. So the, the credibility that comes with this course is, uh, it's pretty good. You know, this is, um, and, and it's also a creative way to learn. Mm. Um, and, and I was missing drumming and I wanted to get back into it. So this was a really easy way. If you've been away from drumming for a while, um, this is a really great way to re-engage. Excellent. Great. OK, <clears throat> so how did you feel about your drumming before taking this course? My my drumming was in limbo. Um, I was career moving cross country. Um, I just put the drum set down. I wasn't playing any music, really wasn't even listening to music. So when the course came along, it kind of um, reignited the flame. And it also um, got me to lighten up on myself a little bit about you know not being that the fact that there was a big gap in in how long I had been playing and you know that was okay there was no no judgment yeah definitely not it's just nice you're back in the saddle having fun yeah doing the drums great so what were the drumming weaknesses or problems that you wanted to solve by taking this course <clears throat> when I'm Two, two of them. One of them is my my ability to listen to chord changes and phrasing, um, and phrasing of when we got it when we we dissected a couple of songs and like simple pop songs that you think are simple really are not, um, and it turns out some of the jazz and blues standards they're kind of simple, but some pop songs um, are much more complex than they look. Uh, so that was, um, something that got better is being able to hear changes and hear, um, phrasing better. Yeah. That, so those were two things that I really liked. That's great. That's great. Were you nervous to take this course? Um, no, I was excited to take this course. This course was so... You know, this course was like a, this was a comfortable sofa that you sit on and you're used to it. It was no, it was easy to do. Um, doing it in your own home is really nice. Um, you, you just, you could do it in your pajamas if you want. That, it just, that part of it, there was no commute. There was no having to get to the studio to, on time. Um, you didn't have to move your drum set from one town to another. It was, that made it really easy. <laughs> really and we can work together at a long distance and not have to be limited by that distance so that's really cool <clears throat> for me it's especially nice to be able to see you behind your instrument and i feel like i can help you the most when i see you play your drum set rather than try to adapt to some foreign drum set in a drum studio somewhere so that's a big factor for me <clears throat> this isn't one of the questions you asked but i'm going to answer it anyway what I really was surprised about, and this has happened with other Skype lessons with you, is just how accurate your diagnosis of a problem is over Skype. And I thought, well, you know, it's Skype. We really need to be in the same room. But in some ways, it's almost better. And I remember doing something with the bass drum foot. Uh, like you knew that the placement on the pedal was, was not great. And you you asked me to make an adjustment, and uh, the the fact that you could hear that over Skype, um, I, that was really cool. So it's it actually you know Skype. If anybody's worried about whether or not Skype is a good way to learn take a take a music lesson, it absolutely it is. It was for me. I was I was really pleasantly surprised and um, sort of a little you know 
amazed that you could hear things like tuning. You could hear tuning changes um, over Skype. You know, it doesn't, and you don't even need to be on, uh, you know, harmonically perfect speakers. You know, you could do it on a cell phone, and it worked. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's a great thing is being able to help people actually tune their kit and teach them how to tune their kit amongst all kinds of things that normally I couldn't help them unless they were at their drum set. So, um, definitely. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it. So I would go to you for a lesson and we're going to borrow some studio's drum set or your drum set, but you don't, I don't transfer what feels good about your drum set to my kid at home. That right. was hard to do. That's a, you know, I hadn't really thought of it that way. That's one of the coolest things about this course. Right. Yeah. So you get to play your instrument because most every yeah. other musician gets to play their instrument and they bring it to the studio, but drums just not convenient. And so yeah. I can go to their own home and see their drum set through Skype and it works great. So, yeah, cool. So what did you most want to gain by taking this course? I wanted to restart the fire for playing music and I did. And it feels great. It was is to be reignited, be to be brought back in. So um, this th again, the same answer. This is for all those folks who uh, have been away from drumming for a while. And this is a great way to restart. Awesome, great. Okay, uh, let's see. Did you learn the things you hoped by taking this course? Um, I really didn't hope to learn anything. That doesn't mean I didn't want to learn anything I had no expectations about what to learn I learned a lot more mm -hmm. um, I think if I had expected to learn anything from this course I would have sold myself short uh, I think that the my favorite thing that I took away from this course was uh, how to dissect phrasing ah. so yeah that was uh, so no it, it, it I, I got everything I wanted out of it um, yeah it was fantastic awesome very good all right. How did you feel about your drumming or how do you feel about your drumming now that you have taken this course? Um, well, good and bad. I now know where my warts are, uh, but that's the bad. Uh, the good is uh, I was reintroduced to creating a practice plan and sticking with it. Um, so that was uh, just those two things by themselves made me feel a lot better about my drumming. All right. So got some structure, some direction, and you can see results with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's great. Stru structure and direction are an excellent way to describe what I got from it. Oh, good. Good, good. Uh, let's see. What surprised you the most about this course? <clears throat> so one of the other students in the course, um, it, it sounds like this this other guy is clearly could be a session player if he wanted to. Mm -hmm. And when I talked about how I was feeling about a task or how I was feeling about my drumming, and he felt the same way about his drumming, um, that was uh, that was really remarkable because. Um, it turns out we're all sort of on the same continuum. We all feel and experience things the same. It's just that, you know, some of us are going to play at the local fish fry and some of us are going to play on a Steely Dan album, you know? So <laughs> uh, it was really, it was really, it made me feel good to know that this very accomplished drummer has the same issues that I have. Right, right. More the inner drummer issues is what I'm kind of hearing. It, yeah, I, I never compared our facility. He was obviously, you know, much more skilled than I was. He's been doing it a lot longer. Um, but the stuff that gets in my way, you know, sort of intellectually and emotionally and my ego were the same things that got in his way. Right. Um, and that was cool to work on. Yeah. Yeah, that's a huge factor that a lot of drummers at some point finally wake up to the realization that, you know, I've got all this angst that's gnawing away at me inside about life, and it's really getting in the way of feeling good and feeling confident, which if you don't feel confident, you don't want to keep pressing forward. And so we definitely have to deal with all the, the monkey mind chatter that I like to refer to that most humans have to deal with in order to become calm and peaceful and 
stay focused because you'll get discouraged and so there's definitely a lot of mental internal work that goes with becoming a great drummer and that's one of the things that's really important as I've discovered and so I'm happy to be able to have shared that with you and some of the other students. Yeah, I would say that 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 is the that's the primary theme of this course. It's the you know the like the that famous book. It's the inner game of music mm. or tennis or whatever it is. It sure. You know, we we spent more time on on that, um, and uh, it certainly wasn't. It, it made the facility better. It made playing better. Right. Yes. Yeah. You feel how you think, <laughs> and when you can shift your thoughts, it shifts your yes. feelings. And that makes a big difference in everything that you do. And of course, this is all about becoming the great drummer that we want to be and staying on the course and feeling good about it. So, yes. Awesome. So would you recommend this course to other drummers? Yeah, absolutely. Um, y yes. And uh, whatever the level is, and I, I guess, you know, I, I can only tell you about my experience. If you've been away from the kit for a long time and you're thinking about getting back on, um, this is really a way to restart. Um, and it's a healthy way. And also, I feel like I restarted. It's kind of like I'm learning things new correctly for the first time. And it's, yeah, without a doubt, I wouldn't. Five out of five stars. Oh, very nice. Thank you. So um, do you have any additional comments? That's my last question. Um, this is one of, it, this has been one of the most positive music experiences I've ever had. Um, uh, and the fact that we've done it over Skype and it was easy, um, it was worth it. It was absolutely worth it. That's really great to hear, especially knowing that you got a music degree in college and you were <laughs> told that process and, um, right. And, and if, and it felt good to, to use things that I knew in the past um, to use my prior knowledge. It, it, I, I felt like I could display that and get something good out of it and, and use it. Yeah, yeah, it definitely helped uh, in understanding some of the concepts we did. And of course, this whole thing was focused on drum set and not a lot of different things that go on with college. So um, yeah. and that's the goal. We can indulge in our passion, which is drumming. Yes. <laughs> sure. So. Well, cool, John. Thank you for answering those few questions. And I'm sure some of the people in the group will be interested to hear your feedback on how the course went. So um, thanks for participating. And um, my my classmates um, were terrific. I'm sorry that I, you know, my schedule was so that I have to watch things, you know, after the fact. But um, I really enjoyed uh, working with those guys. Great, great, cool. Okay. Well, thanks, John.